Hi Joy Riders, Kai Metley here. So I wanted to do this video in regards to a situation that I had going. Um, so basically, some of you may know that I um, model and I act and I, you know, do things like that. Um, and I had a gig, um, a modeling gig. You know, they wanted us to come hair and makeup ready. So I was like, okay. So the night before, I wanted to like prepare my hair, make sure it was like ready for the shoot and everything like that. It took me hours <laughs> to do my hair. Um, I wanted to try a style that I've tried before. You know, because I wanted it to look a certain way. So I used, I didn't have all the products that I used the first time for the style. So I ended up using um, some different products and you know, did my hair and everything like that. The next morning I woke up, I saw a little bit of flakage, but, or excuse me, like residue, but I didn't think anything of it. So it's getting close to the time for me to leave. And then I started taking out my hair. And when I say it looked like my hair hadn't been washed in I don't know how long. I was like, oh my gosh, because it was so much residue on my hair and I didn't have time to like wash it and redo it or anything like that because I needed to be on set at a certain time. So I was just like, okay, what am I gonna do? So I was just like, you know what? Let me just wear a wig. I've worked with this person before. So I'm just like the style that she wanted. I felt like my wig um, would, would work for that. So put on my wig, went there, got there. The um, designer didn't like my hair at all and I was just like okay well I can take off my wig but I just have to you know tweak my hair a little bit so she was like okay cool we have time so I didn't have any of my hair products because I just knew that the wig was gonna work out fine so um, used what I had and tried to make it work um, when I was done kind of like playing around with it and trying to adjust it. I went back out and she wasn't satisfied with the style and it broke me because I felt like I was the one who let the client down. I felt like I wasn't being as professional as I could have been. Um, Granted, I tried to like prep myself, you know, like the day before and my hair was done. All I needed to do, you know, the day of was just take it out and go, but it just didn't turn out that way. And sometimes with natural hair, using too much product or using too little product can just affect how your hair style is going to turn out. And I just wanted to talk about this because as a model, you don't ever want to like let down a client. You want to make sure you do exactly what they ask of you or if you um, submit like a portfolio or if you submit, um, you know, pictures to them and they see how your hair look, how your body look, you want to come on set looking like that. And so because of my situation, I was just like, oh, like what do I do? Like do, you know, and I didn't want to not go. And I, you know, I don't ever want to like not show up to something that they booked for. Like they spent money on this. They pay photographers and stylists and other people there. And so, long story short, <laughs> um, after she saw my hair and didn't like it, um, she basically was just like, okay, we're gonna have to like reschedule you. It was me and two other models. So it was three of us in total. The other two models were able to um, take pictures, but I wasn't, so um, I left and she was just like, you know what, it's fine, things like this happen. You know, we are gonna just reschedule you and that's okay. Now, 
some people will probably be like, okay, you know, that's fine. Great, we'll just shoot again and that's cool. But for me, just thinking about it more on a professional level because, because my hair wasn't how it should have been and me trying to fix it and her still not liking it, my confidence just went down. Like, I was literally on the verge of tears. I was just like, oh my gosh, but I held it in because <laughs> I mean, I am a crier, but I was just like, you know what? I can't let that break me. I have to use it as fuel and as a lesson because it's like that particular situation gave me a taste of how it would be in the industry. Like when I like really, really get into the industry because people won't say, okay, we'll just shoot again. It's like, no, you didn't show up this time. We're not gonna, you know, call you in for any more gigs. Like, this is it for you. So you have to be like really careful. Um, and my hair can like be one way in a photo that you saw and then I try to use the same products or try to get that hairstyle again and it doesn't turn out the same. That gets super frustrating. Like I have a go-to style, which is twist outs, but Honestly, my twist outs have never <laughs> come out the same way every time. It really just depends on what the hair wants to do. But yeah, I just feel like that experience helped me like learn. It helped me to realize that situations like this can happen and, and what can I do to prevent it. Maybe the next time I can just take out my hair earlier. Just to, just to give me time in case I have to redo it, you know? Um, things like that. Or just going to a salon and getting it done professionally. Just for this particular situation. Um, it was just so many things that went through my head and at first I was just frustrated with myself and sad because I'm like, dang, like why is my hair tripping right now? Like. This is the second time we tried to do like a photo shoot and then the first time it was just, you know, like photographer issues, but this time around I feel like it was my fault and I'm just like, oh my God. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wish I would've took pictures of how my hair looked, but unfortunately I don't have any pictures. Let me know if any of you uh, naturals out there who are models have had issues. Um, on set with your hair and it just wasn't working out for you on um, the day of the shoot um, and also I just want to leave you guys with this um, if you're ever in a situation where you feel like you are your hair <laughs> isn't cooperating um, don't get overwhelmed don't get sad just know that this is a process I understand that it's your job but take this advice from me. If you have time beforehand and you need to come on set makeup and hair ready, give yourself maximum time even before the day. Like even if you do your hair the night before, I would recommend giving yourself at least two to three hours before. That would be my suggestion only because of what happened to me. And surprisingly enough, it hasn't ever done that before a photo shoot before. My makeup was on point. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, they really like my makeup. I hope that my experience will help somebody else out there. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, Joy Riders, love you lots.